We're standing along the side of uh, Highway 97 here, just west of Merritt, British Columbia. And because of the mountainous landscape, uh, we have the opportunity to talk about uh, an interesting landform here, the one right behind us. So Scott, you wanna uh, tell us what we have uh, to look at here? Right, well, this is, uh, this is certainly a landscape uh, common to British Columbia. Uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a landform that, uh, that is not glacial in origin, like so many of the landforms that, uh, that we have here in the province. Uh, this is a colluvial uh, landform and uh, characterized primarily by being on a steep slope. And uh, in this example, we can see a, a rock face, in this case it's a volcanic bedrock, that, uh, that is forming a face, a cliff, the top of this slope. And as that material breaks off, through largely physical weathering processes, the, this material, under the influence of gravity, moves down slope. And uh, over geologic time, so we're talking sort of thousands of years here, we build up a deposit of, uh, of coarse angular fragments that collectively we would refer to as a, a colluvial veneer or a colluvial apron. Well, Scott, we seem to have a variety of uh, vegetation behind us here. Uh, what's, uh, what's happening there? What's causing that? Right, this is really typical of a colluvial slope. Uh, in areas where this colluvial process, this downslope movement under the influence of gravity is more active, we tend to have unvegetated conditions. Movement, episodic movement, uh, probably principally in springtime during times of snow melt when there's a bit of moisture moving through this slope. Um, too much movement there for vegetation to become established. But you can also see patches of early succession vegetation, largely shrubs, small trees, and uh, eventually we have areas that are stable enough that will support full-blown forest. And we have a, a mixed forest here of Douglas fir and, and ponderosa pine. So that's a good uh, description of the landform here, the colluvial landform that we have here. Uh, let's have a look at what the parent material would look like from this, this type of activity. Well, we just happen to have a, a shovel load of colluvium right here, uh, Art, and uh, it gives, uh, gives us a pretty good idea, assemblage of angular fragments that vary in size from this pebble size that you have to some of the larger blockier sizes that are, that are here. If we were to dig down a little bit deeper in, into the material on the hillside, we'd find more fine materials. Enough that uh, when there is moisture moving through these slopes, uh, that uh, roots can get down in there and there is a, is a moisture supply. And, and we can see that in, in the establishment of the forest here. So that must explain why these colluvial deposits are important uh, in terms of land use in other parts of the province then. Right, well here in the lower Nicola Valley, uh, semi-arid environment, much of this colluvial slope will remain unvegetated, largely because of lack of moisture. But in more humid parts of the province, slopes like this at slopes of 30 to 35 degrees support some of the most productive forest growth in the province. Mm -hmm. And so they are an important landform that support a range of soils uh, that are important to, to BC's forest industry. 